We're going to talk about leading coefficients today. How the leading coefficient uh, relates to the behavior of the function. We're going to start by talking about some parent functions. Suppose you have f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. And as you remember, the name of this function is quadratic function. It has degree two. And then we have more uh, information about this function. We talked about this before. It has a vertex at negative b over 2a and f of negative b over 2a. You can also find the zeros of this function by using quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. It gives you zeros or x intercepts. Very well. So remember that we said if a is a positive number, then the graph opens up. This is the behavior of your function. So suppose you're working with this function. f of x equals to x squared. We have some observations here. First of all, as x, just an observation, remember on x-axis, your x goes to the right-hand side or left-hand side. On y-axis, your y goes up or it goes down. I'm right. This is the behavior that we have for our quadratic function. We saw this before. But how do we formulate that? We say that as x goes to positive infinity, as x goes to positive infinity, where does the function go? What is the end behavior of the function? As x goes to positive infinity, my y goes to my y goes to positive infinity as well. So as x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity as well. So how do we formulate that? In calculus, we learn about the concept of limit. We say that the limit of y as x goes to infinity is infinity. Or the limit of function f of x, f of x and y represent the same thing. The limit of f of x as x goes to infinity is infinity as x approaches to positive infinity your y goes to positive infinity the function the end point of the function starts increasing it goes to infinity what happens x goes to the opposite direction as x goes to the opposite direction approaches to negative infinity remember that negative infinity is on the left hand side we look at the behavior of the function the function again goes to positive infinity. Again, as x goes to negative infinity, your y goes to positive infinity. So we're going to write it this way. The limit of f of x as x goes to negative infinity is positive infinity. This is the concept of limit that you're going to learn in calculus later.